always say that skincare is not a one size fit all thing, but there are definitely some um, practices that everyone we can all do together to just have like a better outcome with our skincare regimen. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that with your body lotions as well. So instead of your body lotions, to just be. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Dikan, aka Diko Ko, aka Queen of DIYs, and that is a self acclaimed title which we all agree on on this channel. And that is because I do have DIY videos as well on this channel, so yeah, you can always check that out. So today is another Skin Deep with Dikan videos, and in this type of videos, we discuss um, tips and tricks that you can do to just better your skincare routine. We do product recommendations, we do product reviews as well, and we also share skin care advice that helps in the overall betterment of your skincare routine and journeys so yeah those are the kind of things we do on this type of videos and a lot more so um, always keep an eye out I had posted a video on how to mix your face cream or what to do to your face cream to just make it give you an overall better result in today's video we are going to be discussing how to do something like that but this time for your body um, moisturizers or your body lotions or your body creams to just help you to have an overall um, better result results and outcome with your skin so instead of your body lotions to just be bland and not really have like a use to it apart from just moisturizing your skin which of course is the very top use for body lotions and moisturizers of course we need our skin to be moisturized but we are just going to take it a step further I'm just going to show you how you can use your body lotions um, in a better way to just um, make your experience with lotions and creams and moisturizers a lot more pleasant and a lot more beneficial to your skin so in today's this video we are going to be working with the Nivea um, body lotion so this one is the Nivea Q10 vitamin C body lotion so I have the two here so this one is the one for normal skin types and this one the blue one is the one for um, dry skin I wanted to just um, debunk a misconception out there that um, about these two lotions so now this is the white one and this is the blue one some people argue that this one is for light skin people and this one is for dark skin people but that is not the truth so this one is for if your skin is normal and you just need like a lightweight moisturizer that's the word and this one is if you need a more intense moisturizer meaning that your skin um, dries up quite quick and needs a lot of moisture or more intense moisture so that is when you go for this one so there is none for fair and dark skin all of them are just moisturizers but is there really a difference with these lotions or not i'm putting up a review about these two lotions and other nivea lotions as well and i don't know if that video is going to be up before this one or this one will be up before that one but either ways i will link it up on the screen if it's out before this one but if it's not then definitely look out for that i'm going to be doing a proper review on this and you guys will get to understand a lot more i don't want to get into it in this video because this is not the video for that but then look out for that because it's definitely going to be very useful these are like the practices that i do with my skin and i promise myself i'm going to be sharing this kind of beauty tips with you guys to just have like an overall better experience with your skin and um, i'm definitely sharing everything useful for me with you guys so yeah please please before we get into the video please help my youtube algorithm by liking this video just give it a thumbs up it really goes a long way in helping my channel grow and growth is what we're trying to do here so please do that for me and honestly you don't have to do this with just Nivea lotion if you have any lotion that you use on your skin like the CeraVe one the, um, the Dove one the Neutrogena there's a lot of brands that carry good moisturizers but here I'm just going to be demonstrating with the Nivea Q because this is my regular moisturizer it's one that I do like for my skin without further ado and talking too much I'm going to take you guys to the workstation to just show you guys how to mix this properly to just have an overall better experience 
So first thing we'll do is turn our cream out of the container and here I'd already done this with half the bottle so I had like half left to demonstrate this with um, you guys here today. And um, next you're going to be taking a jug or a bowl, any convenient thing and a spatula because you would need those. And then you're going to be turning your cream into that. Now you're doing it this way because you want to get all your cream properly mixed. Um, normally. Um, you could use the step of just pouring everything into the container but that's not advisable as the stuff inside does not mix properly so you really want to see what you're doing you want to make sure that you see that your um, cream and your ingredients that you're about to add like the other things you're about to add are going to mix properly so um, eyeballing this process is really really necessary so um, make sure that everything you use is clean your hands are clean because you do not want to get any external bacteria into this so next we are going to be going in with bepantanol and this is a form of despantanol um, despantanol is an over-the-counter medication and even though it's a medication is used for treating um, dry rough scaly itchy skin as well as minor skin irritation so now I'm going to be adding my despantanol into my cream which is about 300 ml so I'm going to be adding my um, despantanol which is 30 grams into my 300 ml of cream. So now it's almost like a 10% ratio. So it's almost like adding 10% of the overall measurement of my lotion like the lotion that I'm using so um, I'm just going to make sure that I squeeze everything out as much as possible because if you don't squeeze it you might not get everything out and you can see how um, supple that cream is so now I'm going to go in with my mother castle that is what it's called yeah I'm going to look for the alternate like a general alternate for this because he this ones I bought in Turkey so I'm going to be adding my medical so this is an anti-allergy um, cream um, it's also a medication but it's over the counter and um, it helps with like minor skin issues as well so now after adding that up I'm going to stir that properly and um, now I'm adding this to my these two tubes to my cream because I want this cream to be more beneficial to my skin in a way that it helps me fight um, minor irritations as well as just keeping my skin um, clean and away from all those things that I do not want on my skin just generally keeping my skin safe um, and also keeping my skin deeply moisturized so now I am just turning that with my spatula and as you can see the motion I'm sort of like beating it up if you're someone that is familiar with baking you would understand um, beating um, your batter up so I'm just beating it up gently to make sure that everything mixes properly and I'm giving you guys an up close and when I'm done I'm just going to be transferring that into my container now I'm still using my Nivea container to transfer this back into the container now this process is a bit tricky because the lotion is now a little thicker than it was it's going to be even harder to get into the bottle so you want to um, take your time to put that and now that I am done I'm just covering that up and still giving it a little shake for the residues that were already in the bottle so this way um, your stuff mixes up properly and there are no lumps and bumps in your container so yeah that's it for this video but one thing i really want to mention after mixing it this way a good way to use your body lotions and see good results with your lotion is to actually use it with sunscreen and honestly even though we feel like sunscreen is not important sunscreen is like the most important step in your skincare routine i would keep on preaching the gospel of sunscreen because i need you guys to understand how important sunscreen is so yeah definitely make sure that you use this lotion alongside your sunscreen and honestly your sunscreen doesn't have to be like an expensive high-end sunscreen you could also use the nivea one i'm going to put it somewhere on the screen so you can see what it looks like you can use your lotion alongside the nivea um, sunscreen just to protect your skin Honestly, if you do not use sunscreen, the rest of your skincare routine is pretty much useless because the sun is very harmful to our skin. 
And honestly, I think most of the problems we get on our skin or the root cause of most of the skin issues that we have is definitely the um, bad effects of the sun on our skin. So you definitely want to include sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen in your skincare routine. And especially if you live in a hot country like um, Nigeria, where most of my subscribers actually watch from. And I know that's not something that we are used to in Nigeria. I mean sunscreen, but um, I really pray it becomes increasingly popular amongst us over there. So the weather in Nigeria is really, really tough and we are the ones that actually need the sunscreen the most. Trust me, it's going to be a game changer as well for you as what we just did here on this video. I do hope that this video was helpful and not too long. I try to keep this one as short as possible because I know your all attention span is becoming really, really little. Thank you so much for watching and I'm coming up with more videos for you guys. I'm also going to show you some tips and tricks that you can just do still with your Nivea Q10 so definitely make sure you keep an eye out for more videos on this channel thank you so much for watching and if you have reached this point in this video and you're not subscribed I'm really surprised because I know that you want to subscribe and if you've not thumbs up this video yet I mean what are you doing please thumbs up this video and yeah thank you so much and as usual I wish you guys a perfect beautiful and luscious skin and I will see you guys in my next one Mwah.